Jonah 3, verses 3 through 5. Jonah obeyed the word of the Lord and went to Nineveh. Now Nineveh was a very large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began by going a day's journey into the city, proclaiming, 40 more days and Nineveh will be overthrown. The Ninevites believed God. A fast was proclaimed, and all of them, from the greatest to the least, put on sackcloth. I remember the first sermon I ever gave. I was a youth ministry intern at a church in Tennessee. The final project for the internship was that myself, along with the other intern, we were to put on a lock-in. For those of you lucky enough to not know what a lock-in is, it's essentially a chance for teenagers and student ministry workers to get locked into the church building. The hope is that you get a little bit of sleep, but the goal of most teenagers is to never sleep for the whole night long. And my job as the intern was to preach the good news at the coveted 2 a.m. spot. So I preached my sermon, and it went exactly as well as you would think a 2 a.m. sermon would go. I don't remember what I talked about, and I don't think anyone else does either. In fact, the only positive review I received was from someone who said they liked the part that wasn't actually in my sermon. But she thought it was in my sermon, and she liked it. Today, we read a passage about Jonah delivering a seven-word sermon, and it went a lot better than my first sermon went. Jonah walks a day's journey into a much larger city, proclaims the hope and the grace of God to the people of Nineveh, and God does a miraculous work. The fact that Jonah only walks a day into a city that's much larger shows us that Jonah wasn't trying that hard. We've read in previous passages that Jonah didn't necessarily want God to be merciful or God to be filled with grace. We read that Jonah was doing everything he could to avoid this call in his life. Friends, what great and miraculous thing is God wanting to do in your life? I know that for me, it can often be difficult to share my faith with other people. What great invitation, what great word of hope and peace is God calling you to share with others? We see the example of Jonah, of someone taking a meek and tiny word and God turning it into something miraculous. My challenge for you today Find what meek and tiny word you can give to someone else so that God can do something miraculous. Amen.